Hey guys, what's up? Pase Baller here. We are now on this first game of this March 9, 2022 NBA game day. Let's talk about uh, Chicago Bulls with a record of 39 wins and 26 losses, visiting Detroit Pistons, um, displaying a record of 18 and 47. The game will be at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please, click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right. Well, let's take a look at the Eastern Conference standings real quick so that we'll have a closer look at these two teams. Let's start with Chicago Bulls. They are number four in the East. For their last 10 games, they have won five. Man, but uh, the issue... Th here is that approaching this game the Bulls are on a five game losing slump yes man you heard me right five games for Detroit Pistons um they are at number 14 in the in, in the Eastern Conference for their last 10 games uh the, this is almost unbelievable man uh, considering you know uh how uh, they've been in, in the early season um they are now at six wins and four losses for their last 10 games and approaching this game, man, Detroit Pistons is on a three-game winning streak. I guess this is the longest for Detroit for this season, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, all right. So um, for this game, uh, Detroit Pistons, they have the home court advantage. Number two, they got the momentum. Uh, yeah, you heard me right, man. We're talking about Detroit versus Chicago, but momentum is actually going towards Detroit. Um, in terms of uh, fatigue, well, both teams were able to rest yesterday. Let's take a look at the injury list for both. Starting with Detroit Pistons, um, I see two players down here. Frank Jackson, who has been out for some games now, and Isaiah Stewart. Man, this is something that's going to be huge for Detroit. Isaiah Stewart is uh, the one who's playing uh, as their big or as their five, so uh, his absence would really mean a lot. You know, he, he provides defense, he provides uh, rebounding and he you know he can even uh, you can even count on him uh, for those uh, putbacks and easy baskets for Chicago Bulls uh, of course uh, well this is the same list um, Caruso Patrick Williams Lonzo Ball they're all out while uh, Nikola Vucevic is still in questionable status because of his hamstring so three people out for Chicago possibly four, depending on Nikola's uh, status. So the spread on this, well, it actually started with minus 6.5 for the visiting team, Chicago Bulls. And you know what? I'm checking on it right now. It, it seems like it is still at minus 6.5. Now, if you just take a, take a look at it, especially considering uh, where they're at right now in, in the standings, man, you would actually put your money right away in Chicago Bulls. And, you know, I can't blame you. Number four, Versus number fourteen, right? Um, but we need to take uh, we need we need to take into consideration the form that these two teams are at. Well, Chicago Bulls they have lost five straight games. Detroit Pistons they have won three straight and they have won six out of their last eight. On those eight games, man, they have covered the spread on all those eight games, man. This is this is a very fun team to watch. Uh, I would admit, like for their for their last. Um, six, seven games. I've watched all those games for Detroit, man. But I'm a New York fan, by the way. Um, and uh, Cade Cunningham, Jeremy Grant, and Sadiq Bey, you know, they're trying to prove that they are indeed the big three of that Detroit Pistons squad. Now, I understand that uh, they have some problem with Stewart's absence, and that's going to be a huge problem for real. But uh, lucky them, they got uh, Bagley. And uh, considering Bagley's game last, uh, last time, who... Uh, against uh, Atlanta, man, if Bagley can just repeat that kind of performance, man, Detroit should be okay. But of course, I, I have a lot of respect with Chicago Bulls, man. Um, still, they got DeRozan, you know, they got Levine, and uh, Chicago Bulls, man, can actually burn you with their offensive skills. But the thing here is that, for, for, again, for the past five, six games for Chicago Bulls, their problem is their defense. Um, they, they they have been a poor defensive uh, defensive team. Again, I don't have any problem with, with with their capability to score, but their problem lately is their defense. And for Detroit Pistons, before when they were not you know when they were not into this uh, mini uh, mini streak that they that they are at, 
the Detroit Pistons were having some problems with their offense. Now, if if Chicago Bulls would continue that, you know, that kind of poor defense with this uh, Detroit squad, man, Detroit has Detroit has a huge chance for this, you know, for this game. Okay, I mean, again, uh, to address that absence of Stewart, they got Bagley anyway, and they got Olinik. So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna still take my chance with Detroit Pistons right now. But again, with with all with respect to Chicago Bulls and the Rosen's uh, capability to score, man, I'm gonna take the plus. So my 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 pick on this one would be Detroit Pistons plus six point five, Pistons plus six point five. Peace out, pase love, and God bless.